Hey friends, welcome to Dara's Kitchen. I am back with one more recipe this time which is tuna cutlets or tuna kebab. This is a recipe which is healthy, tasty and crispy. It's an evening tea time snack that your kids are going to love. It. These cutlets are an excellent appetizer. So let's get started. So friends, here you go. You'll find this tasty yummy tuna kebab which is fabulous your guests are going to love it it's a nice appetizer trust me so let's get started and let's look at the ingredient section so friends to get started with this recipe we will need some tuna can some boiled potatoes some onion green chilies coriander leaves some corn flour bread crumbs with some indian spices so friends as a first step i have taken a tuna can i have opened it and i'm draining out the water from the tuna and keeping it aside to mix it with the other ingredients so friends i have also taken some potatoes and i have boiled them and now i am smashing them up and adding the other ingredients so friends now that i have smashed my boiled potatoes time to add the other ingredients i'm adding some finely chopped onions some finely chopped green chilies some finely chopped coriander leaves some corn flour I'm also adding some Indian spices like red chili powder, some turmeric powder, some garam masala, some black pepper powder and the tuna which I had kept aside and I'm mixing them well and then I'm going to refrigerate it for about 24 hours so that you get the real tuna flavor. Do help us to comment, subscribe, and share our videos. This will help us to motivate, work hard, so that we could come up with new recipes and we will have our recipes as of now. Do watch out our other recipes and our YouTube channel as available. We have a whole range of recipes, right from biryani to fish masalas to prawns, some pizzas, and other recipes. I'm sure your kids are going to love it. Do watch out and do leave your comments as in terms of how you like the recipe today. You may add the tuna back into the mixture and mix it well. Friends, now that my tuna has mixed well into the mixture, I am keeping it aside and now I am taking an egg breaking it and making sure that I separate the egg white from the yolk and I'm going to use the yolk back into the mixture mix it well, add some corn flour to make sure that it's not too wet and then I'm going to put it in a plastic cover refrigerate it for about 24 hours ideally it's your choice if you need to make it in a couple of hours no worries, you can just keep it for about an hour or so and then straight away use it for frying
Now that my tuna mixture has been mixed well, I am covering it in a plastic bag and I am keeping it in the fridge for about 24 hours. This will ensure the real flavor of the tuna kebab or the cutlet comes out nice and clean and the aura, the smell of it will be too good, trust me. Now that my tuna has been kept in the fridge, time to remove it from the fridge and then start from it. So friends, now we need to take the cutlet mixture, turn them into small boats and then turn it into a cutlet shape of as you desire and then heat up the pan. I've taken some egg white and mixed it well because this would be the base in which I would be dipping the tuna cutlet along with breadcrumbs. Here we go friends, I've taken up the I have heated up the pan now, added some oil, time to take the cutlet, dip it in the egg white as I showed you and then mix it in the breadcrumbs and fry it further. So friends, you need to cook each side for about 5 minutes, turn them and then cook them like you see the golden crispy. Make sure that your gas is on a low to medium flame so that the cutlets don't burn and you need to make sure that it's cooking along even on the sides as I would show you now. Then that's it, your tuna kebab or your tuna cutlet is ready and please make this, try this at home. Enjoy with your friends and do leave your comments, share and if you are new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and support us because this will keep us, help us, motivate us and so that we could work harder and come up with new recipes and friends, thank you very much from the bottom of our heart for supporting us all along so far. Thank you and have a good day. Bye.